Here we have a grade six lesson. We use parts of our code to construct various shapes and we also construct movement to allow our pen tool to redirect the positioning or the coordinates on the screen where we would like to start drawing by lifting up the pen and placing the pen down. My name is Erin Bradley. I'm a Gauteng education teacher at Brian Evan Primary School. I hope you enjoy this video. Many of you will be familiar with it already. So this is a movable object that can draw. The commands are found over here, forward, backwards, right, turn. You'll see all the commands. Write the commands correctly. If you don't type it correctly, it won't work. So if you go forward two, we know that that's going to just draw a green line to the length of two. Forward, let's make it six. Right turn, 90. You guys know that there's 360 degrees that you can turn. If you go forward six, right turn 90, you're going to do this. So I'll just start again. By got that little forward turn, right turn 90, and we play our code. Look, it just draws and it turns. Not doing any, anything but one line. So capture that. If I click on this, I'm bringing the code back. If I write a repeat, RPT for you do these square brackets. They must be square brackets, not curlies or any other type of brackets. These square brackets that you see over here are very important that you put those in the repeats. So in other words, it's going to go forward 6, turn 90 degrees. Then it'll go forward 6, turn 90 degrees. And it'll keep repeating that four times. That is a loop. It should come up with a square. So let's just show that as a square. Just make my screen a bit smaller. Funny that this thing is in the way. And I play this, forward turn, right turn, and it's made a square. So we know that we have the code for a square, repeating four times, forward six, right turn 90. I could have said forward two or forward one, naught point five. Look at that, very small. Naught point five means half, very small little square. You can see it over there. Remember, if you want to set the color, set pen color blue. And if I go forward, there's a little blue square. Now, the very important part of what I want you to do in this lesson is using the procedures. Select, select that code, right click, copy it. And here, in my procedures, we're going to make this square. I'm going to name my procedure. Name whatever your procedure is with something that is meaningful. So I know that this code will make a square. I go OK. And now I have a square. I can go like this. I can go up, pen up, P-U means pen up. The, it must not be drawing. The pen is lifted from the, it's not going to draw. So I go forward, two, left turn, 45, 45 degree turn in, on the left hand side forward three or one so it'll do that pin down and then it'll start drawing again so i'll call this the move code selecting it over the blue code move my cursor right click copy name it give it a descriptive name so i'm going to go move calling that the move code and i'm going to copy and paste so now i've got a square and move code so now you can bring in move Square, move, square, square, move, square, square. And let's see how that plays up. Goes like that, one square, another square, and you can see it's making circular movement, but it's only made three of them. If I wanted to bring in my artwork, I could go RPT, repeat, move, square, move, square, square, move, square, square. So I'll go repeat 200 times, and we must use which brackets? Square brackets. These are squares, I call them square brackets, and I'm going to select this, copy, plus, and I'll call this artwork, art. We just call it art. Right click, paste. Very important to use these procedures. I'm going to start all over again. Now remember, it's repeating it 200 times. Art, I go art, and let's see how it plays out. I can speed up my code with that. So look, it's going faster. 
It's drawing a lot faster. Now look, it's going over the same place all the time. Not good. So I need to bring in variation. I can bring in a change to this. So if I go to forward, let's go forward, two, and then we'll do a right turn, forward two, and then we're going to do a right turn and we're going to bring in an angle. So we want to see what shape we're going to come up with. So 45 degrees. Let's go. You try whatever angle you would like to test. We play our code. Watch. It's going to turn in that direction. Now, what? We're going to go with the repeat in front of this. So I'm going to go RPT. That's meaning we are repeating our code. 20. Actually, that's a bit too much. So we'll go 8. Now, remember, you're going to test the angle over here it could be a 30 degree turn a 270 degree turn um, so let's have a look and test it out remember this one is to bring everything back to the start play and what do we have here count how many sides we have on that one eight sides what is that Optical. all right so now we're going to name our shape we want to name the shape we're going to then take the code I'm selecting it on the blue part, right click, copy. And in our procedures, we're going to bring in another shape. So on this plus sign, we're naming our, our shape. You guys said it's octagon, right click, paste. And our code is now got an octagon, a square. We've got a move and we've got art. We want to understand the properties of a circle. So here it goes. Thank you very much, sir. 100, watch this, that's the repeat, square brackets, as Jaden said, forward, one, left turn, and we'll make it 20. Yeah, just watch what it does, look at that. Not a perfect circle, but it's going, you guys can even change the angle of the turn. If you go with a smaller angle, look, five degree turn, and play it, it's a very large circle. There we go. It's going around. It's a very large one. So the degree of turn, that one you can barely see how many sides it's got. It looks so clearly as, as it's a, if it's a circle. So if I go and change this to 55, it's a fairly small circle. So you go like that. Copy. And we can make a circle now. And paste our code in. Now it comes to the point of making the artwork. And then I will be helping you, young lady. So we go art, move, octagon, circle. Art, move, square, octagon, art, circle. And let's see what it does. And then you guys can get started with your one. Let's see. It's going to do those little funny squares. That's the art part. Don't forget, this would speed up your code. It'll break away just now from those little squares into something else. You can shorten your code to make it go quicker and then it goes to different parts. Mine's still got hundreds of repetitions. I'm going to stop mine because it's repeating far too much. Art. And we'll go, just check it. Make it. Make it 10 times. Art, move, square, octagon, circle. But those are 10 times. There we go. Okay, mine's now doing a little bit different stuff. A big thank you to everyone for watching this. Hopefully this would have given some idea of how to construct code, place it into the various procedures, name those procedures properly, and that helps to deal with a lot of the complexity and the difficulty of dealing with code. I thank everyone for their support and I ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks to everybody in every which way and especially to the grade 6 class that I was with.